If you're looking to start the new naturalist role, you're going to want to head over to Strawberry and bring yourself a varmint rifle. That's a crucial Get weapon for this role. If you don't this have one, bring it before you come please. to Strawberry. There is no gunsmith to purchase one when you get here. And once you have that, head into this hotel. You're going to start this cutscene. After two or three minutes of cutscene, she's going to offer to sell you a kit. That kit is 25 gold. If you do not purchase it during this cutscene, you can pick it up later. I would be willing You'll to just have to go visit her at one of her locations out in the wild. There Let's are three other locations. I will be showing you those Excellent. later. If you do make the purchase, you will be awarded 2,000 Naturalist XP, the Legendary Animal Map, a sample kit, as well as your field guide. Now, if you have already purchased the Outlaw Pass, you will get an extra 15% XP. That's 300 XP on top of the 2,000 already. Unfortunately, I did not think of that, so I shorted myself the 300 XP, but no big deal. And then you can open your animal field guide from the item wheel. Once you do so, see at the bottom of the screen there, it says trade in the completed category to get X amount of dollars. That is an indicator telling us these are like collections for Madame Nazar, where if you get the whole collection and turn it in complete, you'll get paid a bonus payout. The animal field guide is very similar to the compendium in story mode, if you're familiar with that. There are several tasks we need to complete for each animal in order to complete the field guide. But I'm going to show you here in this map right now, there are six locations for Gus and three locations for Harriet. You might be like, who's Gus, who's Harriet? Okay, Gus is a trapper. You sell to him legendary hides. He has trinkets for sale. You need to bring him animal parts in order to craft all this stuff. Also different types of clothing he has for sale. And Harriet is who we're going, is the naturalist. That's the person that we're going to be taking samples off of animals for, taking photographs for. Harriet is the one that is going to level us up in naturalist. Gus is more or less just a trapper dude, just like in story mode. Now the next thing to do is to go get some sedative varmint rifle ammunition. You'll get 2480 cents from Harriet. I recommend purchasing 200 fully stock on them. An Another guns. optional item no, is the animal reviver. It's five dollars so each. It's expensive. Ammunition. You'll get 11 XP per use. They are optional. So if you're tight on cash, I wouldn't really recommend them. If you got plenty of cash to burn, you want to level up faster, then I would recommend them. I use them all the time, but I have money to burn. I understand if you don't. So that's a personal choice. Okay, you do what you got to do. Thank you. Once you've purchased those, you're going to want to go back and talk to her again. And there's going to be an option for Good missions. Luck. You'll see here the option will be an X for missions. I'm going to hold that down. And also in the bottom right corner now it says start poached animals. I'll speak to you I'm going to start that, that mission time. because I'm not level 5 yet in order to be able to do the legendary animal hunts. These poached animal missions are very similar to a bootlegger mission, if you're familiar with those from Moonshiner, where your task is to go out, basically, and kill some NPCs. However, at the end of the mission, there's usually an animal that is caged up, which you have to save, sometimes more than one animal. On the way there, I decided to stop and earn a little XP and do a little work. Uh, in order to take photographs for your field guide, you're going to need the advanced camera. When you use the advanced camera, you also get naturalist XP. You cannot use it while you're on your horse, but you can track animals through it as well as study animals through it. So while you're looking through the camera, you can see I have an option to study as well as an option to track. So that's what we want to do. We want to study, track, and photograph each of these animals. Now you only are going to get XP the first time you photograph an animal when it's entered into your field guide. After that, you won't get XP for it anymore, but still you get like 57 XP if you're getting 15% bonus, otherwise it's 50 XP. So that's a pretty hefty payout for XP considering, you know, the other things that you're going to be doing to get XP don't really pay out that great. Your first five levels are going to be your most tedious levels when leveling up because once you hit level five, you can do those legendary bounty missions through Harriet and those level up really fast and we'll be showing you those towards the end of this video here. So now at this point I'm going to open up my field guide and take a look here and see what's completed and what needs done still on these animals. You can see that I have total progress 42% tracked twice studied as well as photographed all three of these animals. I still need to kill, skin, sedate, and sample 
each of them. Now, I noticed while I was photographing, I only got 50 XP. I realized, dang, I hadn't bought my Outlaw Pass yet. So I'm going to go into my catalog. You get it right in the first category there, Outlaw Pass, 40 cold. I'm going to give it a purchase. That way I'm going to get that extra 15% roll XP bonus. That'll help quite a bit leveling up. Also at level 5 in the Outlaw Pass, you'll get 2,000 Naturalist XP, which is an entire level. You know, it's going to help quite a bit getting to that level 5, that extra 2,000 XP. And if you have Twitch Prime connected to your Rockstar account, you get another 6,000 XP for that benefit. Now see what I'm doing is I've loaded up my varmint rifle with the sedative ammunition. And you have to shoot these animals numerous times in order to pump them full of sedatives. And you're looking for a red hit indicator. You can see I just there I got a red hit indicator. And just there I got a red hit indicator. All the other times were white hit indicators. Once you get a red indicator, you've pumped it full of enough tranquilizer to where it's going to lay down. And while I was sampling this moose, or this elk, I noticed there's a moose that spawned right here. Like, how lucky is that? One of the rarest animals in the game just spawned, like, right in front of me. So, boom. My, like, first mission as naturalist, I'm getting my western bull moose out of the way. And when you have that camera in your hand, if you hit the Y button on your controller or the triangle, it takes you into Rockstar Social Club. So, like, don't try and mount your horse while you have that camera in hand. Otherwise, it opens up so Social Club. It's, it's very annoying. I do it constantly. It's driving me nuts. But anyways, I digress. Let's move on. As you walk up to an animal that is downed and sedated, you would hold X to collect a sample. After you have collected that sample, you don't get XP for collecting it. You'll get XP when you sell it. You can revive the animal if you have Animal Revive, and you'll see you get 10 XP or 11 if you have the Outlaw Pass for reviving the animal. Now, like I mentioned earlier, it costs you $5 for each of those revives. Later on, you can buy a pamphlet, and it will take one horse revive combined with one ginseng in order to craft those. And horse revive is 250 in the catalog so if you're buying your ginseng from mam nazar combining it with a, what you're purchasing out of the catalog you can actually get the animal revive for 350 if you craft it yourself purchasing the components or obviously you can get it for free if you run around the world picking up everything for free that's time consuming i'm not doing that i would rather craft it you know and when i hit max level i probably won't continue using it but for now while i'm leveling up i'm going to now i did the mission i killed all the guys here i looted them all i'd recommend in looting them because you can get your sedative ammo back off them you can get various other loots such as perfect hides from them it's helping feed crypts a little bit and then also i recommend when you release the wild animal if it's a predator to get on your horse because that animal as you can see will charge after you now, I've sedated this grizzly bear, and uh, I'm going to do something I don't really recommend doing, is I'm going to revive it, and I'm going to run for the hills, because when you revive these puppies, they will come right after you. They will bite your face. So I called my horse over, and I thought, man, I'm going to run over, I'm going to get on my horse, but my horse immediately was like, it wasn't happening. So my horse left me high and dry. All I could do is try and run, but then I die. So what are you going to do? Uh... You know, just respawn and give it another world. There's one more animal here I need to release. It's not a hard thing. You just get on your horse, shoot the lock. Sometimes it's just like a deer in there. You don't really need to worry about it. Now, I attempted to kind of watch this bear and get up on it so I'd be able to take a photograph of it. But it mysteriously ended up just like vanishing on me. So whatever, it is what it is. After the mission, I'm going to head back over to Harriet. And along the way, I'm going to do a little more sampling of some various other animals, which I haven't sampled yet, because, you know, this is what we're doing. And I do actually enjoy this. I like working on the compendium in story mode. This really enhances hunting for me. It adds more purpose to it. I think this is a great update. Animal spawns are working fabulously. I'm not having any problems finding animals. In fact, there might even be 
inhumanity dare I say it I too many animals no because sometimes there's just like everywhere so here we are back at Harriet you can see I only get 585 for that grizzly it doesn't pay very well the moose doesn't really pay well either it's only 550 for the moose but XP wise you're going to get a, a, an okay chunk of XP for these samples. And these are just commonplace samples. All samples give the same amount of XP. When you sell them, you're going to get 50 XP Some per sample. Are so and if you have the like Outlaw Pass, you get 57 Naturalist okay. XP per Hope sample. Now, if you sell Every a Legendary sample, you get like way more. You get in between like 300 and 400 XP per sample. For the legendary samples and we'll get into that in a second i'm gonna load up my other character on xbox currently we're on pc here i'm gonna switch over to xbox and show you a legendary hunt as you can see on xbox i'm already level 10 here so i have access to the legendary missions Take through harriet so head over to harriet open up the missions menu and it shows two missions and at the bottom you see it says 45 minutes and 24 seconds until they reset you should so that tells you how long you have in order to pick those missions up once that timer resets there will be different missions there for you so you can consistently you know like i think it's every 48 minutes i'm not 100 percent sure it might be like every 96 minutes or every i don't even know it's i think it's 48 minutes though they reset and you'll be able to come back and get more missions from her and I do believe the poached animal mission also resets on that same timer. And these are things I'm kind of speculating about. I'm not 100% sure. That's just how I think it works. Simple enough then. And while you're here, make sure you stock up on sedative ammunition. I went and hunted that cross fox and I used 83 sedative varmint rifle rounds before I managed to down it. And at first you might think that's kind of crazy, but here's the deal. I'm using a controller, and when you're hunting a legendary animal, you do not get aim assist. You cannot use paint it black. You have no assistance in order to target that animal. It's all free aim. And furthermore, you have to hit them with numerous darts, as you've already seen. I do believe there's a mechanic in the game where if you don't hit it with enough darts in, enough, in, in a short enough amount of time, that those darts will wear off and the counter start, starts back at zero. So let's say you have to hit the animal with eight darts and you hit it with five and then it goes behind a tree for, I don't know, five or ten seconds. Then all of a sudden it's wiped off. You still have to hit it with eight again. You can't just go another three more. I'm pretty sure that's a mechanic we're dealing with here because 83 rounds at a fox, you know I hit it probably, you know, a dozen or several dozen times even. I missed it many, many times as well, but I do believe you just, you really want to get those shots in consecutively and fast, as fast as you can. If you pause in between shots, you're just missing out. And, you know, you can photograph these. I've already photographed this one. I've already ran this mission previously, so I have a photograph of it. I've already sampled it. You know, like I've gone through all that. I've tracked it. So you're not seeing it here in this footage but i did do that in the past and that's why i'm not doing it now but you do want to do that with all the legendary animals as well and once you get it sedated go up get your sample as soon as you sample it will end the mission now alternatively you can kill these and skin them and then take the skins to either crips or gus the trapper you don't have to sedate them and take it back to the naturalist but if you do that, she might get mad at you and not want to deal with you for, I don't know, like 12, 15 minutes, 30 minutes. I don't know. She does get upset. If you kill animals and you go back and talk to her right away, she'll get mad at you. She knows there's blood on your hands and she won't deal with you. She'll Her indicator on the well, map will turn you gray and you'll just have to go find something else to do for a little while before you can come back and deal with her. Let so keep that in mind. And she does object to you wearing fur hides like i have a raccoon hat on she always mentions it every time i come to come up to her however i haven't had a problem where she won't talk to me because i'm wearing it the only time i've had a problem where she won't talk to me is when i've approached her after just killing some animals and the animals i killed were during one of her missions it was some alligators that were chasing me down 
which might have something to do with like why she knew I killed them. But yeah, she, she doesn't like it when you kill animals. She wants you to sedate and revive. And as you can see a moment ago, I started up another poached animal mission. Now, something I don't know if I mentioned earlier, but keep in mind when you're on these missions, when you're on the legendary hunt mission or the poached animal mission, you are in a solo lobby for these missions, which is terrific. You don't have to worry about griefers. You don't have to worry about people stealing your loot or your mission objectives. And it gives you time to, you know, mosey around and do a little bit of peaceful hunting. And I'm really enjoying it. I hope that you find this information useful. I hope it brings some enlightenment to whatever you're doing in Red Dead these days. I look forward to seeing you again. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And I'll catch you all next time. Until then, happy hunting and happy trails.